Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Black Knight, and it is Black Friday. That's right. It's early in the morning on Black Friday, by which I mean it's after 7 o'clock, so many of you have been up for hours upon hours trying to find that best deal out there in the Black Friday universe. And, as you may have noticed, I've been trying to keep videos flowing to you. Have a whole bunch of videos that are out there this morning. This one probably going to take a little while just to, to render it up and get it out to you. But we're going to do that and try and keep your Black Friday day interesting here as you may be waiting in line for that amazing television or perhaps you hold on to hope of getting a Nintendo Classic. But we're, we're going to try and help you out here. I am the Black Knight. How could I not help out on Black Friday? So, one of the things we're looking at today is buying things because it's Black Friday and... As you can see, here we are in my garage. This is my specials garage. My holiday specials garage, mostly. See, this is the Easter special. The Easter egg special there. That's a, that's that car. You can see the big Easter egg-y kind of tires in the pink colors. And the, let's change here. We'll, you know. Now this one, this isn't really a holiday special per se, although I've considered... The, the paint jobs on the Custom Saber Turbo are so wild that I may mix it up and, and repaint this one. For right now, it's a Tron special. So, uh, you know, the movie Trons. It's a movie special car. Then we have the cars that are, you know, I've got my two Albany Frankensteins here. Those are Halloween cars, obviously. Then you get the Lurcher, another Halloween car. These are the only cars I've ever actually purchased a shark card to get. I didn't have the money, and I was afraid I wouldn't get them, and I really wanted them, and that's the one time I've actually done that. So those are those are special cars in their own right here. Then, I didn't know I didn't know they were going to be available to purchase every Halloween. I thought this was it. This was a one-time deal. You'll you'll notice I don't own a Sanctus. Well, just you know, which is kind of even that next level creepy anyway. But now this here, this Tampa, this was actually released as a special car for Christmas. So we did this up in Christmassy red and and white. I'm actually thinking of repainting this as more of a deep kind of a wine red or something like that. Something more looking like you'd imagine Santa's sleigh. Of course, you know, Santa may have a bright, you know, bright fire engine red sleigh. Wait, I don't know. It's, I'm always asleep when he comes here. So it's, I think this year I'll stay up. We'll try and figure that out. Now this is my St. Patty's Day special. My St. Patrick's Day special here. You got the green, you got the gold, you've got, you know... The, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That kind of thing going on here. Um, this is my Steelers special. This is one of the first uh, real Steelery kind of cars that I ever got. Well, the first, this is the first lowrider I got. You had to get a Voodoo. I mean, it's just, you had to get a Voodoo. It's, a, it's tradition. You know, this goes all the way back to Vice City. You gotta have a Voodoo. I thought about doing it as a Vice City Voodoo, but this was just too cool. I like that car. I really do. Then you have the Independence Day special, which is really, I tell you what, as far as all the cars here, um, driving wise, I probably drive this one the most. It is, it is, you know, it's not the fastest, but it is comfortable. Um, this is one I race the most, is whenever I'm in a, a muscle car race of these. So, you know, this is the actual racer. Um, I don't know, this, it's hard to say, because I do, I do drive this one a lot, I do drive this one a lot. Um, the Lurcher comes up periodically. Hey, I'll say it again. I know you will. Stop saying it again. Um, the Frankensteins, they handle so badly that I only take them on on special occasions. But what we're talking about here, we, what's happening with Black Friday, we need to fill this spot. Right here. That spot's got to get filled. So what we need to do is we need to go on the internet and think what would be another holiday special because it's black friday and people think oh i'm buying for christmas because christmas is a major purchasing holiday you know we've we've turned it into that it's okay let's roll with that so one of my concepts is you know if you have a modicum of self-control and you have a good place to hide things then you have other options you have the ability to buy stuff for, say, oh, I don't know, Valentine's Day. And now, generally speaking, I don't have it. If I buy it for now, it's, it's, it's getting given by, by Christmas. But it is not a bad plan. So what kind of car would be the holiday, you know, this, this holiday? What would be a, I, I need a Valentine's Day special. You know, see, what would work? I mean, you know, the Raptor, 
Which of these cars says romance? Now, I already have one in mind, but I had some others in mind. The Raptor is one of those things. Um, obviously, any of these cars would be kind of like, romantic. The Val part of the Be My Valentine is the obvious one. Get one of the Roosevelt's. Which, as you can see, I don't have the money for that right now. So, obviously, I'm bringing this up because I'm planning something different. So, here you have the Roosevelt. Those are excellent options. And I would like a Roosevelt at some point. But uh, I think it's a little bit too cliche to be my Valentine's Day special. Uh, let's see. Let me flow through here. Obviously, an Enos Windsor. That's a good day card. The Virgo. There you go. That's just screams romance. And let's see. I, I did seriously think about the hot knife, and the hot knife's still on the table, really. It's not as perhaps romantic as the Z-Type, but I mean, still, when you consider it is a tenth of the cost of the Z-Type, actually less than a tenth of the cost of the Z-Type, uh, that's a really good possibility. I'm going to get one at some point. I just don't know if I want to make it the, you know, the pink and reddish kind of romance car. Uh, these are good. All these things, you know, all these cars are good. If you want to be James Bond here and go out there and woo the women and then leave them by the side of the road, there you go. That's there's a Valentine's. <laughs> it's just wrong. I did seriously consider making a Vapid Yuga Classic a romance special because you could do so much with the colors on it and the, and the, and the liveries. And of course, it's a van, so it has a nice area in the back. Well, we won't go there. Uh, the classic turn out a rat rod, nah, not really all that romantic. MTL Doom, there's a romance machine. Limousine, that would be a good one, but I'm pretty sure that ends up being, you know, a car you have to call in. I don't know if that'll actually fit in your garage. Plus, a limousine's only really romantic if someone else is driving it. And then there's all kinds of romance possibilities, depending on how brazen you are. Now, I never realized that the Valentine's Day Massacre special included the Rat Loader, which I'm not sure why. Not very romantic. Maybe something to do with running moonshine. Something to do with that whole gangsta kind of thing, that era. Maybe we, we could work with that, but I, I just don't think that's where we're going with this. So I'm not going to hold you in suspense any longer. When I thought, how do I look for romance, I thought, how can you ignore the French. That's right. I'm thinking the Lampadari Pigale. Let's, uh, I know it's, it's a Lampadari, so that should be Italian in this game, but that is a very French car here. That's a Citron. And, you know, Citron's, it's a quick car, generally speaking. I've always had a little space in my heart for the Citrons and that kind of thing here. It says French design and Italian construction. Okay, well, that's till they made it a Lampadari. So expect a style over substance and regular breakdowns. There's a romance joke here someplace. There just is. The Begali, a high-performance coupe, is an icon of the 70s motoring and bad taste. No wonder the ironically disposed love it. I guess I'm ironically disposed. I just do love it. Let's let's get it in red. Or do you think we should get it in pink? I want to pick whatever pink we actually do. So we'll get it in red for right now. Buy that puppy. We're sending it here. For hundred thousand dollars, which you know you can say, well, gee, you're, I was just climbing back up to a million there after everything else had gone on. But no, for you guys, for this video, I will cut myself back down to three hundred thousand, back to where I have to work my way back up to having even a halfway reasonable amount of money in this game. Uh, let's see what this fabulous romantic French car beams into us. So many months later. As I stand here waiting and pondering different paint schemes for the car. And originally, I was kind of going to go with some kind of gaudy mix of bright red and pink. You know, perhaps make the car look like a box of those candy hearts you get. You know, the little messages on them. But because it's French, I'm starting to think maybe, I don't know, maybe with a wine kind of color to it. Just a deeper red, perhaps with some kind of gold accent. Something that just screams, you know, expensive night out. That might be a good way of going here. And there it is. Does it not scream romance? It just does. Let's just get in here, look around here. There's a nice sound to it. Why did I get out? I just wanted to change view. I hit the wrong button. 
All right. I've wanted one of these for a while. I really do like them. Now, I mean, it's a sports classic. Is that a front-wheel drive sports classic? I don't know that the original one was a front-wheel drive. I have to Google that. But this one smokes the front tires. And yet kicks itself around very quickly. I don't know. It's, it's definitely behaving as a front-wheel drive car. So there, you know. Which will make it good in snow. So we have that going for us. Not that any, you know, not that there's very much snow here. I mean, we could switch it over to being the Christmas special, but uh, no, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna keep this going as the Valentine's Day special. I'm not gonna performance mod this up just yet. We're gonna go for looks. You can bet that somewhere I'll do all the boring uh, and expensive performance mod updates to it. What's wrong with her now? You've never seen this car before. How do you even know? Okay, so we've got a whole two-tone thing going here. There, you know, the engine mods are on sale. How many? That's twenty-five grand. Let's come back to it. We want to make sure we get the whole respray thing done. The respray is, of course. Let's see. Do we put the crew emblem on it? Ooh, gook. I don't. I don't know if that if that really works. For the for the special, I mean, it's a it's a one of the best ones I've seen there of how it looks. But let's go primary color. Chrome could work, but we're gonna go with metallics. And let's scroll through these, and then we'll stop when we see a romance. Wine red. There you go. There's something very romancy about that. I mean, I could do bright red, pink, pink stripes and say, oh, look, Valentine's Day. But this, that's kind of working for me. I kind of like that. Do a wine red and then we go to, um, we go to pearlescent. We want to make the, give this like a, a brighter red kind of highlight to it just to make it pop a little more. Torino red, yeah, I need Torino red as the pearlescent. Now we go to the secondary color. Metals. Let's go to let's see pure gold. That kind of works. Do I go brushed or pure? Ah, pure gold. Definitely. Now we got turned to the wheels. Oh, spo he has a spoiler. Oh, we got definitely you know, rear louvers. Yes, <laughs> and that and they're they're considered a spoiler, so therefore that's adding performance to it. That's an interesting thing. The turbos are on special, but let's look at the wheels first. Wheel type. If I was going to race it, then you'd have to go off-road. But this is a romance car. So we need to go high-end. We just do. Do we want to go chrome? Chrome's more expensive, and I think I'd rather make it match the uh, the car. I do kind of like the way those look, though. Like, But you can't paint them, so that's a problem. None of that's working for me. None of that's... Lowrider? I do like the flares. Those are pretty... That's pretty much the turbine there. I think that's pretty close to what the originals kind of look like. If we get turbine wheels, they kind of match. And then you go out to wheel color. Can we pick a gold? Yes, we can. And it's a completely wrong gold. Rockstar, what is it with you and color palettes? Seriously. What? <sighs> can we do... The copper... Bron the bronze matches the gold better than anything else.
this is just to make you buy chrome wheels, isn't it? No, we're not doing that. They don't have the. They have the red. They don't have. Do they have the wine red? They don't have the wine red either. So we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, I'm gonna go with bronze wheels. Just because that looks the closest. And we got some money left. Oh, it's a we do need to get bulletproof tires. Because people shoot at your tires. They just do. Man, you mean business. Tire smoke? What can we do with the tire smoke now? Right, let's go pink. There's your pink. The hidden romantic kind of Valentine's Day kind of pink. Can cotton candy pink smoke coming off of the tires. There, we'll do that. And, uh... How much is the turbo? That's a good deal. That's a pretty... Oh, she'll hit warp speed now. That's a pretty hefty discount. I wasn't going to do anything with the, with the performance on this. But you got to run with the discounts while they're there. Oh, the power. The power. Alright, uh, take it easy there, son. Now I'm down to $137,000. I'm thinking perhaps we should exit this here. And Did not give it any running lights. Do we think it needs running? What, first of all, what? Whoa! You f do you feel the romance? Alright, maybe we'll spend a little on the lights. I don't want to give it Xenon headlights, because it's got that whole yellow 70s thing going. Yeah, we want that. Let's see, lights, neon kits, neon layout, hit me. The white actually looks pretty good with it, but neon color. We want the white, the blue, golden shower. That golden shower actually kind of does work. And if you're really warped, it works with the theme. Kind of matches the gold. Pony pink. That kind of goes with the the whole romance thing. As far as the the, the it takes off the the red very well. Hot pink. The hot pink does work. Especially we work with the. Uh, with the pink, uh, the, the, the you know the pink uh, tire smoke that's coming off of it. Trying to look and trying to see what goes best with what. I think we're gonna go hot pink, simply because golden shower on a romance car just seems so wrong, for so many reasons. So hot pink lights. There you go. We're just going to radiate romance. And perhaps pornography. It depends on how you really want to look at the hot pink. But we're gonna, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna exit. I may change that at some point. It's definitely, you know, it's close enough for right now. It just blazes pink with the, with the ultra cool and ultra sophisticated red mixed with the, <laughs> the completely off-base, you know, campy pink for Valentine's Day kind of thing. You could theoretically race this in a uh, sports classic race. If you got someone with a shafter and they're just not going to win. But, here it is. It is the Valentine's Day special. Let's get it in the, the bright lights take a look at it and I tell you what I still don't know I'm thinking maybe the yellow is would have worked better as the lighting scheme for this just to go with the gold it will be a little bit less brash but I mean you know it is it is a Valentine's Day special and how can you not have something with the reds and the pinks and the whole you know Valentine's Day card kind of thing going Valentine's Day. There you have it. And that kind of... That's where we're at now, folks. That kind of leaves us... Oh, we should have done the plate. Can we do the plate? 
Let's see if we can do the plate. It's got a euro. Whoa, we're gonna want to smash this. We have to pay more money. It's got that euro plate on it, so does that give us more letters or does it mean we can't change it? Or will it change it to uh, to a regular plate, which wouldn't be good. I mean, that's the whole point, is to have that euro feel. I'm willing to take the risk and make the sacrifice for you guys. That's how that's how I am. Let's go find out. What brings you in today? An experiment, my friend, an experiment. Can you change plates on this? No! No, you can't change the plates on it! Huh! Although there you learned something new today, folks. You can't change the plates on a... Lampadati Pigali. It's just gotta stick with that Euro look. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Black Knight. I hope you're enjoying your Black Friday. Getting some wonderful Black Friday specials. I know I'm happy with what I picked up here. And on that note, have a great day, great night, great morning, great shopping experience. I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. So, that's what they think they should go with there. The, the lime kind of green going with the yellow and a black roof. That's an interesting take. Why couldn't they just make it match, though? That's the question. You do good. Every time I see that guy, I think of Ben Roethlisberger. I don't know why. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Why is my insurgent still here? You have two cars out at once now? What's the... No, I can't... I, it's there, but I can't get into it? Are you serious? What kind of glitch is this? That's just, that's just messed up. Oh, wait a minute, I think somebody was in it. Well, that's just weird. All right, I gotta do my thing here. I need the behind the scenes stuff. XD. Your mom is dead. You have a bad delay. XD? XD. Your mom is dead. XD. You, you man is dead. Your mom XD. You XD. bitch. You bitch! What am I listening to? And why are they interrupting my recording? So godly. You know, whenever I find modders in room, I'm like, just give me ammo, Lels. Your mom. You know, you know, you know, I can't go. Your mom. Seu porra louca. Your mom, seek a bleed. Nem sei o que você tá falando, seu otário. This is just terrible. I didn't realize that the rat loader was a Valentine's Day. I don't keep right? a record of purchases. No, this is just, I gotta go to a, a solo session.